Hi Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out how does your next serious relationship look like. Just any information about your next serious relationship. Today is the 26th of June, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 7.40 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you were to finally got it to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Okay, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Their next serious relationship. Give me some information. And this reading is for those of you, if you're single um, or you are already thinking to release the, your current person, things aren't going well and it's in the brink of ending, okay? Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You got two people here, three actually, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, Page of Cups. But the King of Pentacles is the one who is going to give you this commitment here. doesn't matter the sign, okay? So, uh, this person, unless these two kings are the same and the Page of Cups is the same person, okay? I'll give you a couple of versions here. Just take what resonates with you. It could be this one person, okay? This person could be a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. King of Pentacles could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Somewhere in your chart, there is some water, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I feel like this person is going to offer you this new beginning. Um, and, it, you know, Ace of Pentacles is very, very, very solid. So you, you're going to be offered, you're going to be offered this very solid uh, offer uh, of commitment it feels like this is someone very good looking very successful okay financially king of pentacles very popular um, definitely has leadership qualities possibly uh, around your age or even could be younger because of the page here if they are younger than you are that means they are ahead of their time okay they are a little bit more mature um, they could have more money or more success or that they could be more successful than people their age okay unless they are you know same age as you are or around the same age as you are a little bit of an age gap but the page of cups maybe they're young at heart it could go you know vice versa like that i would say this person has a sense of humor okay sense of humor um I don't think you're gonna get bored with this person. This person is multifaceted. It feels like he or she is not gender specific, it's very stable, very loyal, very committed, but there's also this very playful side. Maybe it's due to age or maybe they're just young at heart, okay? And the king of wands, very, very good looking in the chariot. This person has hair, has good hair, nice hair. Um, has a really really nice car as well because the chariot is a form of transportation um they have they have two really really best friends okay <laughs> two best friends unless they are two kids um again just take what resonates with you uh, and we've got the nine of wands right here but this person is quite guarded afraid you know to get hurt again Maybe because also they're very success successful and they don't want gold diggers. They don't want people to take advantage of them. We've got the Ten of Swords. So this person maybe they've gone through a separation ending that was very painful for them. Okay, but and the second version would be for some of you, if these are three different people, your next year's relationship you have to choose right you will have to make a judgment call here between these three people one is a fire sign one is a an earth sign one is a water sign okay water sign is in pisces cancer scorpio virgo capcom taurus is the earth sign and the fire sign is aries sagittarius leo for those of you who don't know 
every time I mention these, you know, signs, it's, I know some, most of you know this, but there are new viewers, so I cannot, you know, uh, assume that everybody knows. Because somebody complained saying that, oh, we all know that. No, not everybody knows that. Don't be so arrogant. But anyway, <laughs> so the Nine of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Judgment. So if these are three different options, you will have to choose one and then you might end up breaking somebody's heart. You may feel bad also having to reject this person or two other people. You're going to have to make this judgment call with the chariot and the king of pentacles you choose one that is successful i feel the one who is successful the one who is very stable very reliable very committed um and the five of ones can indicate competition so you may have competition um either unless it's vice versa that whoever you're gonna get yourself into a serious relationship with has a lot of options where you might have to compete uh, for them to choose you, right? Again, it could go vice versa like that. But if this is one person, I feel like with a judgment and a page of cups, the, the way the connection is going to start is going to begin because the page can indicate a start because the page is young. So you start at a young age, right? Uh, so the connection at its infancy will be more of a playful one i would say okay more of a playful one and both of you will bond with each other with a judgment here through past trauma ten of swords so there is a trauma bond that i feel that you're gonna have with this person and for some of you maybe this person is already in your life and for some of you this could be someone coming in if you haven't met this person yet okay so let's see more Look, this is you. So this is your perfect match. Queen of Pentacles and the King. So this is your perfect match, okay? So I feel like you're going to choose that if if you have options. Like what I mentioned early on, few options. You're going to choose this one. The one who is the most compatible with you. Um, most likely is an earth sign, but it can be any sign unless... He or she embodies all of this here. It could be fire, it could be water, it could be earth, okay? So you've got the Ace of Swords here. It's very clear. It will be very clear to you in the end, if you have options, that this is the one for you. Because both of you with the Chariot here wants the same thing. Um, have the sim a sim like similar goal. For example, for those of you, if you want children and if the person doesn't want children, then it's your goals are not aligned. Some of you don't want to have children and then this person wants children, then your lines are not your goals are not aligned, right? So I'm just giving an example here. So both of you are gonna want the same thing. And the high priest is here and one first. For me this indicates that yeah, again it's gonna be just really clear. It's gonna be revealed to you who you're supposed to choose. Um, but on the other hand, it feels like this could also, if this is just one person that you're going to be meeting, the moment you see this person, you kind of know already, this is that one person that you want to be with. Okay. Um, he or she fits everything that you could be looking for. This person is charming, good looking, beautiful, handsome, dresses nice, smells good has a good reputation it's like almost perfect tall if you like tall guys or tall girls or something you know whatever your whatever your preferences are so um yeah that's what i'm seeing here and then five of wands and this person is gonna make you feel really excited too because maybe this person is so good looking and or so successful that you know that a lot of other people would want them. So that sense of like, hey, somebody can, you know, snatch him or her away from you at any time, it's going to make you feel like even more excited. It feels like that, okay? Because of the five of wands, your competition, right? Nine of wands, guarded, you'll be like extra careful about 
you know, whether they are cheating or not. There's going to be a bit of a paranoia here with the high priestess and what both. Some of you are going to feel a bit paranoid, like, you know, does this person, will this person like other people? But I feel like, no. I feel like they know as well because they know the person you're going to be in the next relationship with knows that you're also the one, okay? Look at these two aces here. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So both of you know that. It's, it's, although these are the, not the same, as in this is Pentacles and this is Sword, but it, both are in an upright position. So both of you are going to be on the same page, okay? Um, you may want somebody who is honest to you, someone that you can be successful with, an Ace of Pentacles, and they're willing to offer that to you. And I feel like with the Judgment and the Page of Cups, it could be for some of you, if there, hmm, I see if there could be a bit, a little bit of a bump on a road, to be honest with you, because either both of you will have a little disagreement um, at some point in time, and then the Nine of Wands, because someone could be a little bit more guarded, afraid to get hurt, or it could also be, be because of uh, travel, the chariot here, distance, right? So there could be a period of time, like a little bump on the road, where both of you will be separated. But the judgment here indicates that both of you will come back together. And then with the Page of Cups, someone will, you know, initiate a, a conversation. Someone will say, hey, you know, let's meet up for once. There's a reconciliation here. So this is what I'm seeing here. Because 10 of Wands in reverse, 3 of Cups in reverse. Either someone is going to doubt the connection at one point in time because it feels like there is going to be a process, okay? It's not going to like, right away, I meet you, we get married. No, not like that. There will be some challenges. Challenges. It could be due to, again, someone's insecurity or it could be due to um, distance. It could be due to competition. It could also be you needing to choose and, you know, that could be like a period of time. I definitely see that. Ten of Swords is a minor kana, so it's, I feel it's not permanent, okay? So, I've oh, got the Queen of Wands here as well. Maybe there is a third party for some of you. Uh, but I don't see it as a problem. Eventually, everything is going to get sorted out. And the Four of Wands is also a marriage card. So, it looks like this next year's relationship would turn into a marriage or at least move in together, okay? Because this is a house, get engaged, but definitely marriage. And the chariot here, eventually, I don't know how long that's going to take, but the chariot here is a successful card. So this connection, this could be saying that this is going to be a successful connection, um, provided someone doesn't get too paranoid here with the high priestess and offers. Um, or that someone doesn't bring their bad, their past baggages to this connection. Um, but also at the same time, when if there is going to be a brief separation, both of you will talk things out with the judgment here. So there is going to be this understanding of each other's past trauma, whether it's yours or them or both of yours, uh, both of your uh, past trauma. And there is going to be this new understanding uh, evolve, evolving, and eventually both of you will be, see, four ones, two ones, two ones, both same height. So both will agree with each other, make some sort of agreement, agreement, understanding each other, and you've got another wreath here. So this is, con this connection is going to be a really, really successful uh, connection. And for some of you, if you are embodying the queen of wands here, that means um, see? Oh my god, I just noticed that. We've got the king and the queen. So, you are... This connection is going to be a connection that's very passionate. Very, very passionate. Both of you are going to be very passionate with each other. Both of you are going to, like, feel that, you know, the physical intimacy is going to be up there really, really good. Um, physical intimacy compatibility is also... It's very important, yeah, to me. Because you don't want things to 
get dial, dull or somebody gets lazy it's not exciting anymore i feel like this connection is always going to be very exciting okay the favor ones maybe there's some competitiveness between you and your person maybe both of you like sports or something that both of you may like and may compete or playing video games together it could be anything and then but at the same time with the queen of pentacles and king of pentacles these are the most stable king and the queen um well next to empress and emperor but both of you are very level-headed have a good head on your shoulders but at the same time very passionate with each other passionate physical intimacy but also passionate in doing some things together uh, it's together yeah because again king and queen it's a pair so both of you will always do a lot of things together very exciting things together may share the same hobbies may share also sharing the same um kind of ethics right these this king and a queen very ethical both of you are going to be very responsible partners to each other very um dip, both of you can depend on each other okay and very committed and that is for sure i feel like because of this brief separation with the judgment here both of you will kind of you know after coming back to it and both of you have this really open communication that is when i feel like this connection is going to take off to the next level and most likely you're going to get married and i also see when both of you get married you're either going to go on a honeymoon or that you're going to get married in in a different country or in each other's country two different separate places okay because we got two two pairs of king and queens here two pairs one fire one earth so maybe both of you um are similar in a sense but have something different um maybe different skin color different ethnicity or a different backgrounds different religion but coming together as harmoniously as possible some of you the five of ones here maybe these differences could be an issue in the beginning but then it's not going to be in the end when both of you talk about this right the judgment when both of you um discuss about the future sharing everything i feel like both of you will share everything with each other this is your right right and die or right or die right and die or right or, or die i don't know but anyway you know what i'm trying to say right this is your reading virgo taurus capricorn it's beautiful i hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below feel free to subscribe to my other channel it's called chelsea vlogs it's my travel channel and for those of you who like to be notified every time when i post your videos and every time when i go live don't forget to hit on the bell notification button i just saw 1717 check out your angel number yeah take care hope to see you back here again sooner than later bye Bye.